Maybe. All right. Well, we're back on this segment about. Uh, uh, I think we were going to talk about uh, Operation Conus Base. Uh, yeah, we just want to we want to say what that tie up a little bit more from the other segment where we were talking about the psyop conus base, which is the same thing. Um, there, there's a lot. Like I said, there's a lot going on to this, and well, let's explain what conus base means first. Okay, well, the con conus base is continental U.S. Now, operationalizing continental U.S. What does that mean? That means they're getting ready to what? That's the question. What are they getting what is ready the, to do? What does the military do? What do they do? What are they? Why are they operationalizing Conus Base? Well, you operationalize it when you're ready, making it ready. Well, you have readiness exercises, Rex exercises, or Rex drills, to for readiness to get it prepared. They're preparing the homeland. Could it be because when they ram through TPP, which they've already done, they're going to collapse the economy and they're going to need the military? That's possible. That is a possibility. We don't know. Well, we don't really that, know. That, what that, we that's know. What we want to talk about is what we exactly know is that they are operationalizing the what they already have, which right. is a military occupation of the American people, people on behalf of the United Nations, the International Monetary Fund, NATO, the Bank for International Settlements, basically all the central banks of the world that finance the international military industrial complex. And when we're talking about operationalizing continental U.S., we're talking about also not just, you know, traitorous, treasonous, United States military we're talking about military of other countries coming in and there's also military and police of other countries that are training our police, police. Yeah, and, and that are being trained in our tax funded centers like the um, uh, asymmetrical warfare department, department and AP Hill we have video evidence I mean we don't have it C-SPAN had video evidence that uh, that they state that they are training foreign troops to US shut down state. the United States and American cities. That's what they're admitting to on on television. And also that they have robots, too. That are oh, and autonomous that they're using and robots. And that, that they can disguise as civilian or as troop. So, they, did, they did say a lot about robotics. They did yeah. say a lot about... So there's a lot, about, there's a lot of stuff that if you start About radio, listening. you know, uh, um, uh, military operations in underground areas underground bases and not only underground they're also flying in the air with the drones right i'm talking the, yes i'm talking about specifically that interview right but but anyways well he did mention the drones in that interview did, too of course so of course, they, right. they are if they but they they mention it and it ah, and you, what and it's like subliminal because then you got to go back and you look and you go wait a minute it's predictive program yeah and then you look at it and you go hmm he did say drones. He did say robots. He said this. He, he did say that. that he was engaged in the operation in Fallujah. Yeah, in Fallujah. So, and then so he has no guy, idea what the hell's going on with Jade Helm. Yeah, yeah. And this guy says he doesn't know what. And looks off camera, and it looks back and goes, "I don't know." So, so these guys and are he's in charge. Are bragging about about like um, like slaughters, participating in slaughters, like. The Fallujah, and if anybody wants to do a Google search for like Fallujah, yeah, Fallujah and radioactive yeah. babies, if you really want to, yeah, you know, uh, yeah, look, look with the D and all that, and, and yes. you, you'll you'll start you'll start getting on the same page. Don't eat before you do it. Definitely though. don't eat, and and definitely realize that that the folks that are are doing this are the ones they, they want that they for got you. plans they got plans they want for that you. for you for they, and your children yeah and your children that aren't yet born and your grandchildren and they don't care right so they're operationalizing um, and and they're they already because they haven't operationalized the Kona space because Northcom has been in operation mm -hmm. So this is just an escalation of their military offensive against the American... Yeah, North, yeah, Northcom's been at least so two years. So there is a military offensive in Iraq and Afghanistan, and less Americans have died in Iraq and Afghanistan than have died on the streets of America at the hands of the government police. 
which is a militarized operation, which everyone is admitting on television now that they're the military and the municipal and the federal and state police and the Department of Homeland Security. It's all one. They're all working together. There is no separation. So what do we have? We have a military occupation that is slaughtering its own citizenry. I don't know if any people have been killed because I, I haven't seen any like real reaction to on mass like start executing the uh, uh, the police chief. So I presume it was just citizens of America that have been killed on the streets, and no people, American people, have have been killed by the police yet. But when that happens, that means it's like it's like the every police chief and every government official uh, in the United States will will you know be be taken out early there they'll leave this uh, um uh, um uh plane of existence before before they would have if they had if they do the right thing and, and it, bow down <coughs> and it doesn't really matter if it's about the police because they're going to get it too and after they the police they send them to round us up and what we oh, will wipe out they're going yeah, to kill yeah at the end because everybody that serves them oh, is going to get killed how anyway this? so how about this Okay, every time that there's some sort of, you know, weird thing that, that happens, there's always a big helicopter crash somewhere in some remote place that kills all these SEAL team members. All these cherry marine yeah, exactly. faggot uh, SEAL team members that may or may not make up stories about killing folks and certainly make up stories about who they fucking kill. And, uh, um, you know, I mean, the, you know, and it's not like the militia hasn't operationalized inside the United States when we when we directly, you know, engage folks like Leon Panetta and say, like, hey, look, we're going to turn all your underlings against you. And, you know, you basically have a fucking target on your back. And you, he li you live your life like that, Leon. You do, Panetta. A and same with with Cheney and Clinton. I mean. They're not walking down the street with us. No. They would. They wouldn't walk away. We would. We would just execute them right on the spot, and like we would get away with it, because we do as we wish. So they have to hide themselves from us, because we've surrounded their house. We lawfully want them. We demand that the police disarm themselves. And what do they say? Uh, nothing. Because yeah. what can they say? Like, they can't say we're right. They can't say well, we are correct. Because but they can't say that because then it blows. The militaries old. of the world are oh, slaves it, of. That the, was getting the banks. back to the uh, military. <coughs> Their uh, Trident Juncture is overseas, which is uh, them trying to militarize all the police forces and stuff. The, and, yeah, and it, I believe that that is over Jade Helm. That's the op over top of Jade Helm because, and then if you look at it, if it's trying to militarize and control all these police forces overseas, it makes sense that they're trying to militarize Kona Space now. And that's part of what's coming in in a different over top thing because I don't know what the over top op is. Wait, here's, here's another interesting thing that we saw in the news on Friday, I think it was. There was an overturned uh, um, uh, assault vehicle, military assault vehicle, um, and it was like, I think it was some sort of carrier vehicle in Dinwiddie County oh, on yeah, I-85. Yeah. yeah. And so, you know, oh, and there was, of course, there was a, I mean, it was a huge, you know, huge, huge vehicle, and it was carrying other vehicles. So, of course, there was a uh, uh, fuel spill that was damaging to the environment <clears throat> that was quickly covered up and not really mentioned again as was the whole entire accident then they, the military had to come and bring cranes and restart the vehicle the um the drivers there were two drivers of this vehicle or the two operators of this vehicle and they were both take flown to mcv uh, or vcu medical center is what it's called now but it used to be mcv so MCVVCU. then, but nobody really asked the question: Why are combat assault vehicles driving around On inside the United States? Yeah, why are all these military vehicles going around? And and then you go, you would ask that question, except for you've seen them on television 
driving through the streets of Baltimore, driving through the streets of, you know, you see them even <coughs> in Caroline County, <coughs> where, is Kings Dominion in Caroline County? I think it I might be. I don't remember. It's, it's one of those things up in the, up towards, between here and between Richmond City and Fredericksburg. But anyways, Caroline County Sheriff's Department, they got a big assault vehicle. So, again, it's already militarized. They show up with every police unit inside the United States from my hometown of Hagerstown, Maryland, which is not a very large city and does not need anything like that, to Richmond, to Chesterfield County, to Henrico County, which are surrounding counties to the city around our region, Hanover County, Caroline County, which is a very small populated, has had one murder in the past two years, I think. And they all have yeah. automatic weapons, fucking full jump out camo suits, military helmets, you know, body armor, and armored vehicles. For our protection. I don't need that kind of protection. I do. I want that. Give me, give me some Well, protection. you know yeah, what? Get, for my protection, give me one of them. Okay, I'm, I'm glad we can segue into that because the law demands that we have that. The law demands now, now that the people them having have that. it for my protection no. does not equal. It, Th no. That's an oxymoronic because these are the same well, folks the who have threatened out. to kill me personally, and and same with Glenn, they and kill me. have have uh, have come after us and work against us constantly and violate all of our rights. So it's not protecting me in any way. And I protect me. I protect myself. Like, that's another thing. They want everybody to think that the military and the police are there for your protection. No, they're there to make sure that... You toe the line. Which means that you, you are a good the slave to the <clears throat> folks that they pay. Because the military, there's nothing, like, real special about folks in the military. I mean, like, high-ranking military Other officials... Other than they have follow been, the caste system. They, they follow the system. And who's at the top of the system? The fucking Jew bankers. So, basically, what are they, really? Well, just, uh, well, actually, if you really technically want to get into it, at the top of that system is the puppet in charge. The, the, the head... Uh, chi, chi, uh, yeah... The well, puppet. okay. The puppet in charge. Yes, the bankers, but technically it's the puppet in charge is the head of... Yeah, the guy there. behind the curtain, the great Oz, whatever. Yeah, but it, in uh, reality, anyway. yeah. if these, these folks, I'm just saying, these folks think that they're honorable and they're not because they swear an oath to uphold the Constitution, and what did we get on tape yesterday? No, Some guy that said he's idea. never read it. Never read it, or they don't care about the... Four, uh, we, I've got them on tape, but we don't care about the Fourth Amendment. We don't care about all that. You'll do what we they say. They say it on tape. They swear an oath to... Yeah, at, the, at the peeps and police psyop. It was listen to the police. The police will tell you what to do. Listen that's to the police. That's a nationalized movement, too. Yeah, and that's that's what they want. And, well, what is that? They don't need FEMA camps if they've got you all surrounded anyway. You're already in a FEMA camp. You live in the United States. Welcome to the fucking reservation. Right, but what the Jade Helm and stuff is, is to separate those who don't yeah. accept it. Right. Well, uh, maybe... Uh, well, I, it's I all, all part of a divide and conquer, along with the lines of the co skin color and... Oh, and yeah, everything's color-coded. Yeah, the Black Lives Matter. Funded and, by George yeah, Soros. All the, it all, and I think we were, a we were a little ahead of the curve when we were talking in detail. Because like, I noticed... Alex Jones talking in detail and Dabu Seven talking in detail about, um, especially this week, Black Lives Matter and George Soros. But we went into really in-depth detail and we're tying the military into the police locally here, yeah. but also nationally well, and internationally. I don't knock any of these people that are actually are putting this stuff out. Oh, I'm not uh, knocking them. Okay. I'm just saying that they, everybody everybody seems to get on this kick that they have to attack the people. I don't attack them. I don't care. I'm not I, I can I'm use not what even, they're doing no, no, and no, no, no. leapfrog. I understand. I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm making a point because I've had this discussion online and it's like, I don't care. I mean, I can leapfrog off of what they listen to them Go do your own stuff. Yeah. Don't listen to me. Go look it up. And I and people go. Oh, he said look it up. I mean, just because word. I mentioned Alex Jones doesn't mean I'm necessarily slagging him in this instance. I Dabu understand. Seven. I watched Dabu Seven a lot 
But I am saying that. But I, I this have is had not, this. this is not news. This is not. This is not. They're not breaking stuff because this was on on the front page of the Washington Times. Pretty, you know, not long after, uh, um, not long after all this started, and I really think that they both put out a lot of good information. Alex Jones, I think he's kind of uh, uh, knowingly or unknowingly kind of a Zionist stooge, but I mean that's that's not an insult. That's just what it is. Now Dabu Seven, I, I like a lot of his stuff, um, and but I'm just mentioning them. They're getting a lot. It's getting a lot right, of coverage, right. but that we had already mentioned. That the combination of these military <laughs> operations, the psychological operations, the operators, have how we have the operators in this town on camera saying things like, we are FBI informants, that yeah. we have analyzed and put forward what they're putting on the local news saying, Richmond protesters and police working together. And that's yeah. really ironic considering that the national protest movement... And even that they were trying to blur the lines. Who was the opposition in the in this? They were trying to act as if it was the police were the opposition to the protesters. But what were the protesters all doing? Surrendering. What does it, what does every army want that want its opponents to do? Surrender and give up its and weapons. Comply. To comply with their order. Right. Yeah. So. So so yeah. it's all explained to you how everything works, and if it has to ex be explained to you any further. Then, like, you got to start back at the beginning, and and you're not at the level of of intelligence. Like, you you need to like you know clear your mind. Lot, I and, blame and a lot of that on uh, Monsanto because they've dumbed down the. I blame more of it on the public school system. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. yeah. Agreed. I mean, so, uh, they they do a lot but, to destroy. So so minds. like we're not asking you to surrender, but we could make you surrender. <clears throat> We're not asking you to do that. We don't want slaves, and we certainly will never oh, be yeah, slaves. I don't want slaves, and I don't Those want folks want slaves. You are their slaves, and you think that you're free, but you're not. So, this is what's going on. This is all a military psychological operation. We explained this, and I, 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 uh, uh, I forgot uh, uh, the reporter from Channel Eight, but I explained everything to him, like yeah, at the beginning and at the <clears throat> end. Because I start going like, oh, hey, this is a closed set. Did you notice that? And he's like, um, yeah, what do you mean? I'm like, it's a closed set. See? Police are closing the street. I got a camera. You got a camera. We're filming it. It's a closed set. But Because these folks, they can't they can't drive into our shot because it's a closed set. And he's like, oh, okay. And then I explained a lot to him or, you know, we convey, you know, Glenn and I talking like, this is what we want to get out about this. And then I'll further talk about a couple other things. So I talked to him, and then I said, okay, if you just forget everything that I told you, and just remember, always follow the money, then like, you Pretty know, much. then then you'll be all right, and you don't, you know, you'll come to the same conclusion that I, of all this stuff that I comprehended, but you'll have a better comprehension because you figured it out for yourself. But again, it's always follow the money. How, who are these paying these guys? The Federal Reserve Bank. Who, what's the, the most bankers. guarded thing yeah. around around every town? The bank in your city. Yeah. There's nobody robbing the <clears throat> Federal Reserve Bank. Bank robberies. Oh, this bank robbery. Oh, I didn't bank rob the bank. I just gave, gave him a note saying, uh, hand over the money. That's not a bank robbery. You don't, Nobody ever does that at the Federal Reserve Bank because they can't get in. And then you can't get into anything valuable in there because, like, most of the valuable stuff is underground. So... What we're saying is, this is a military operation. The police, the United States military, who are operating under martial law conditions right now, there is no difference. They're all working together. They have their 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 connectors that come together, and we've laid them out. But look up into Kona Space. Look into ARSOF. Look into yeah. Jade Helm. Look into Land Land War Net. Land War Net. Uh, um, We'll, uh, Trident you know, let, Juncture. We'll, we'll just let we'll, we'll let this one. But, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll close going. it out there. But but uh, um, no, we can keep going. Okay, we'll, we'll keep going. But again, as you bring it up, some more stuff like Land War Net. Okay, <clears throat> mastering the human domain. What they're doing with all this stuff, um, since you brought that up, is they're taking all the satellite images. 
They're taking all the metadata that they're collecting from your cell phones and stuff. They're taking all your communications, your emails and stuff. Everything electronic from the smart meters that you got on the side of your damn house. Everything. And they're mapping it out onto the, the earth. And that's called let the land war net. And they're, they know they can predict what you're going to do, where you're going to be. They already got all your information because they can follow you around by your little, uh, yeah. your, your, boop. They follow you around by this. They follow you around by what I'm doing now. I mean, they're definitely watching me now, even though I'm recording <laughs> this and it's not going out on the internet yet, but they're watching me already. Of course. So, you know what? It's all there. They're saying it. The internet of things. Look that one up. You want to get scared? Your, your telephone, your TV, your microwave, your dishwasher, your refrigerator. You know your refrigerator can get viruses because it's on the internet now? Think about that. I mean, oh, it's how about, so how about, how about this? Hmm. Uh, um, because I, I got a follower, and I looked up her name, and it, it said uh, patents. Uh, uh, and it was uh, this woman had patented uh, some of those... Um, I think it was on behalf of Airbus, patented uh, some of those remote uh, uh, things for planes. You know, like that that Lubitz guy in, in Germany where they say he flew into the side of a mountain, but, uh, you know, most folks in the know, they're saying, like, oh, that was just probably remote control. Like, uh, but anyways, yeah, well, so, so folks, uh, they're saying, now you can remote control and hack into uh, planes, uh, 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 like, um, operating system through your cell phone, through the entertainment system, on every single plane that's out there now. Well, ever since Tesla invented the damn remote control submarine and boat. Who invented the internet, too? Who, who operationalized it? It was the yeah. Pentagon operation. Yeah. There was an internet well, inside the Arpa, Pentagon. Well, it, was, it was ARPANET. ARPANET, yeah, DARPA. ARPANET, ARPANET you know, yeah. ARPANET. It was all the when it first started it was the universities and military bases connecting so what, what's google so and apple it's like it's AI. just an arm of of yeah, yeah, DARPA. google is arm of nasa nasa is not separate from the united states military nasa is only an arm of the military nasa and the ussr uh you know uh, um cosmonaut program have been in cooperation since before the uh, um you know, before my birth, paperclip. 60s, well, oh, well before that, you know, because all yeah. this goes real back, you know, Avril Harriman was right. running the Soviet yeah, Union, it's... you know, during the time of Stalin, but, you know, and how we know a lot of this stuff, Glenn's, Glenn's, uh, you know, was privy to a lot of this information in the military, and I'm, I'm an expert on, on, um, you know, uh, uh, space warfare well, because uh, uh, because of my contact with uh, Lieutenant Colonel Robert Bowman, who is in charge of all the space military in the United States. You know, uh, uh, up until the uh, up until the end of the Carter administration. Well, I had a lot of mentors mentors too that also guided me. They've been in, they were in the military. They knew stuff that they couldn't really tell me, but they said, "Look something up." They mention a word, and then they, you know, well, you should look at that, you know, and then you go and you look, and you, holy shit. I'm, yeah. So, yeah, uh, uh, getting drunk next to the NSA up in uh, Fort Meade, I used to get drunk up there all the time. The guys would come in and get drunk, and you get a lot of information. Yeah, you get a so lot. You get, uh, so, I've, you just listen to people, and some of it's crap, and some of it's real legit. Well, and the real legit again. shit scares me. Well, here's here's as simple as it gets. Weaponizing space. When the United States started weaponizing space, it was called Operation Bambi. Before, I mean, it was called a number of things before that, but they all were numbers. Then well, once once the you know once once uh, there's weapons in space, what's the next offensive move? Is to take away deterrent power. That's where the myth of Star Wars came in. That's where the, the myth of the Strategic Defense Initiative came in. But really, it was pointed at all corners of the globe. And now, like, the thing is, they have everybody lined up. They can deliver it from under, underneath, underneath the, 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 the earth. And they can, they can deliver all these uh, uh, deadly weapons from over top the earth. But it's the same sort of concept where they 
master the human domain. I think it's very, very uh, key that they th that they say also right now because I think you know a lot of this is like you know uh, subconscious you know psychosexual mind control is that uh, um, the the uh, uh, the top movie of the top adult movie or drama movie that's not just some stupid Hollywood garbage. I mean, Fifty Shades of Grey is definitely stupid Hollywood garbage, but like that they're playing like it's some sort of like oh this is a excellent movie or this is like something that folks Fifty Shades of Grey what's that about like it's about like some rich guy like you know ordering some like sex slave around but again when when you Be look at it wasn't in a trailer well yeah right <laughs> think about that one if it was in a trailer it'd be a different story it'd be well well here, here's yeah, the thing but redneck it, in a trailer yeah, I mean, but there, again, that's the just news, part of the one. glamorizing of, yeah. of, of this. And what is it when you boil it down? It's about dominance and submission. Okay, martial law, what's that about? Dominance it's and submission. submission. What, even under what they say is their own fucking rules. And they play these word games all the time. What did they do to the German uh, folks uh, after... At, what do they do to the uh, literal German folks where the word comes from? What do they do to the German, the Deutsch, the Dutch? What do they do to the, the Deutsch people, the Deutsch? They put them, oh, it wasn't martial law. It was the martial plan because it was George Marshall. But see, they think it's a joke. Oh, it's not martial law. It's martial plan. But basically, it's the same it's thing. It's not martial law. It's a it's readiness a, exercise. It's a readiness exercise. Oh, it it's means, not martial law. It's it's and when you, it's it's uh uh we have a situation in Baltimore that it got out of hand and we have to well, we gotta call everybody. It didn't in. get out of hand. They they it, let it. It, they, they 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 didn't let it. it. They did it. Yeah. They yeah. They made it, staged it, fueled it, played it. And From A to Z, they had And you all went... Again. <gasps> again. So, yeah. it's And they're they, not going to call it martial law, because we're already there. We've already been under martial law for 20 years. It's getting worse. If, if folks think it's okay to say that... And it's, ha it's happened time after time after time. That it's not okay for individuals, for Americans, to walk outside of their own homes... At yeah, any time of the day or the night, yeah. there is a big time fucking problem. And the only people that are going to keep you safe are going to come in and point guns in your face. Right. Right. Okay. Come on. I mean, Does seriously. That compute? Now, you had Baltimore. You had Boston. Ferguson. Ferguson. I mean, that's three times right there that martial law has been hard in your face on the street. New Orleans. In, another one. Okay, four. New Orleans after Katrina when they confiscated guns. And oh, from they where? sent in from people, hit squads. Yeah, and shot people on the street. Shot and, people on the street. And the police were looting. Just like they were in Baltimore, the police were caught looting. Starting the crap and it. Oh, oh and, and that's funny how so they, they act like the police are separate from the military. And it's also really funny when they act like the police are separate from the gangs. They never were separate from the mafia. They were never separate from their big bosses, the Jube uh, uh, gangs that uh, uh, that run uh, like Sheldon Adelson or, or uh, 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 the Schultz gang or... Or any of those guys, uh, I'm, I'm Siegel and all those guys. But anyways, the Black Gorilla family, don't they run the Baltimore City and County Jails? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And aren't the Black Gorilla family impregnating all the guards? I mean, have you ever seen these cops and these guys who say they're guards or sheriff's deputies? Man, these guys are... I mean, they don't look like they're capable of doing anything except for raging, yeah. just in raging, Roid rage, Roid rage. Yeah. But then when they, when like when somebody like myself talks to them, they're like little bitches or that run away, or incompetent of thought, or incompetent or, or speaking. Or, but yeah I, yeah, I think we'll wrap it up. We'll on wrap that it up. But yeah, it's all a military operation. Yeah, it's all, it's Apple, all... they always know where you are. 
um, you know, uh, uh, what's, what's the other? Oh, Google? Yeah. You they always know. know where you are. Your smartphone, your smart meter, your smart, whatever has smart in front of it, they're following you with it. Your car. And the, well, like the military said, always want to do the enemy, know where it is at all times, and have ha be able to neutralize them, them right. at any time. So when they're flying around you and they know exactly where you are, and they got drones, and they're getting ready to put arms on the drones domestically, it's coming in a few years. You know what's coming next if we don't really and, do something. And, and to for stop remote it. control airplanes, look up Operation Aphrodite. That's Thanks. all I'm going to say. Yeah. All right. Peace uh, out. Peace.